गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन दिस इज विवेक फ्रॉम बाइकल बेकर वेलकम बैक एंड टूडेज वीडियो इज एक्चुअली अपॉन रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम फ्यू फेलो राइडर्स हु बीन फेसिंग वॉबल इशूज लाइक यू नो देविंग वॉबल और स्टिफ स्टेरिंग सो दे हैव रिक्वेस्टेड फॉर अ वीडियो विच यू नो कैन हेल्प दैम हाउ टू चेक वेदर देर इज इशू विद दी wheel bearings or steering bearings or if there's a knee you know if the rim is out or even you know if the suspension is misaligned so you know any of these factors that can create a wobble is what we will discuss today so primarily uh, first let's you know uh, discuss the points which uh, impact the vehicle's balance the first and foremost is the uneven tire wear uh most of this uh, roads that we ride on are slightly banked uh, for of course the water to you know get flushed out so when we riding long distances and on an a slightly banked road there will be an uneven wear on the tire uh, and uh, due to this uneven wear over a period of time the balance will be not aligned it will be a little off so as as you pick up speed it will try to you know balance itself that's the rule of you know inertia you roll a uh, tire it will roll straight if you tilt it it will fall down so when it's running straight it's trying to balance itself it's finding its path so because of uneven wear there will be slight wobble in that that could be one of the reasons so we will see how to check whether the tire is unevenly worn uh, the next thing could be uh, you know wheel bearings that uh, so we will also check because over a period of time especially specifically when we ride in rains or when we do regularly pressure washing water does get into the bearings because the seals are not uh, tight seals they are not air tight they are not uh, water tight seals so there will be some amount of uh, moisture that will pass in and uh, because of that moisture the wheel bearings will either run dry or they will start rusting up so once once you have you know uh, uneven worn bearings the movement of the wheel will again be a little slightly wobbly so that we will check how to check the you know uh, worn out wheel bearings uh, similarly steering bearings again you know riding in the rains or uh, parked in the open regular pressure washing there will be some amount of water that will pass into the steering cone set and if the cone cone set is uh, jammed up uh, how do i put it when it's when it becomes dry it's become rusty it will not move very freely you know there will be some amount of resistance that you will always feel and there will be a point where it will try to center itself you know even if you leave it you will feel that there is one point where it will center itself so when you riding at high speed and if you leave your hand because it's so stiff it's probably you not know, trying to hold its own path the bearing while the tire is trying to hold its own path there will be misalignment due to this and it will create a wobble so we can look at you know checking out how to see if the steering bearings are also worn off or uh, dry or rusted whatever the case be uh, another reason would be rim being run out uh, pothole driven roads high speeds uh, i'm sure most of us will have some sort of impact at one point of time so we will check you know how to see if the rim is also misaligned or uh, run out uh, in case that is the tire bearing will not sit properly aligned on the line over there and due to that uh, you know how do i put this because the rubber is needs to be in the right shape the tires shape once it's run out somewhere it will kind of become off Uh, now that particular part when it hits the road obviously will create slight wobble and at higher speed it will keep hitting higher you know at higher speed and the higher rate and the wobble will start being very uh, prominent then so if it's uh, you know wheel is uh, the rim is out then again there will be some sort of wobble that we will feel unevenly aligned mm -hmm. suspension the front suspension at times i've noticed when people do change uh, their oil or service the suspension they have to have some sort of measurement which needs to be checked when the suspension is put back 
Now, in case the suspension is misaligned or you know not put in the right manner, there will be stress on hydraulic suspension to keep the axle in the same shape, same line. Now, one being up, one being down, you know either of them will be compressed as more compressed at most of the time, which will again uh, not run a leveled ride or leveled suspension, which will again create slight wobble. So that can be one of the other uh, reasons as well. And uh, yeah, if in case there's a leak in suspension, then again the damping will not be right, and because the damping is not right, it will behave like a boat. And uh, once it starts behaving like a boat, there will be slight, you no, know, uh, fish tail kind of a wobble. So those are the things that we will need to go through. So what I'll do is I'll go next to my bike now, and uh, one by one we'll see how to check all these uh, issues. And if any of these issues are there, then we should rectify them to try and solve the uh, uh, bike wobble. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to do is check the tire for tire wear. Now these are not very highly run tires, so when you look at both the sides, you will notice that the wear is even and there are no bulges on the tire. So once the tire becomes a little used, you will not uh, you know, uh, notice that there will be some slight bunches. If you touch them, you'll feel those waves on the tire rubber. So that's one thing that you need to keep in mind. If that's happening, time to change the tire. And uh, next thing, we, what we're going to do is we're going to check whether the bearings are in good state or not. So honestly speaking, in my bike condition, I am actually waiting for the monsoon to uh, you know uh, finish off over here in India. So my bearings are practically. Uh, now on the verge of tying out, very slight play. So if you see, if I spin it, it doesn't spin too long. So they are worn off. They are going to die off. So my first thing once the monsoon goes is to change the wheel bearings, change the steering bearing. See, the steering is also a little firm, but uh, I've you know lubed them so they don't run rough. Hence, I don't have any wobble as such. So, if you spin it, you will feel a lot of vibration if the bearings are about to die, which I do. Apart from that, what you can do is, you can also grab hold of the tire top and bottom and slightly push and pull to feel if there is any play. So, the best way to do it is hold the suspension, hold the lo lowest part and pull and push. If you, you, will, you will feel that slight uh, movement you know you have to really pay close attention to it but that movement will be felt and you will know that yes the bearing has started to develop play so in my case yes I can actually feel a very slight play uh, it could be either side of the bearings so that I will only come to know when I open the wheel and check the bearings individually but yes there is play so I know my bearings are on the verge of going out maybe a couple of more rides and once the monsoon is cleared, the bearings need to go. Now the next thing to do is to check the rim. Uh, let's come on this side, that's a better view. Yeah. So to check the wheel rim, place your finger or an object which will just about touch it. Uh, don't put any metallic object, you don't want to scratch the rim. So maybe, you know, a soft rubber pen or something like that spin the wheel and see if your object moves so if you notice there is slight movement somewhere here on my rim so once again let me show it to you can you see it even if you notice the spinning Yeah, this is the spot where I have a slight, you know, probably a bulge out. So uh, once when I'm changing my wheel bearing and uh, doing the replacement job, I will take it to the uh, press guy and ask him to check it. If it's very minor, uh, he'll repair it. If it's major, it's time to change the rim. Now, steering bearing. Again, in my case, my steering bearing, as I mentioned, are old. And these are all balls, but I am not very happy with them. They just lasted me six or seven months. They rusted quite quickly. So I'm gonna just show you 
how to check so again once you have your wheel free up in the ground you move it if there is any blocking like if you tilt it it should come here something like this but that movement should be quick now in this case if you notice it has gone to the center and stayed it should have gone to the other side and again yeah so there are other factors like you know the cabling and everything so make sure the cablings are clear and not blocking the movement so if it's not free it will run hard you will know now uh, we have checked the steering bearing we have checked the wheel bearing we have checked the rim out and we have checked the tires so more or less we have done uh, the major checks which will tell us if the you know mechanical failure is there which is creating a wobble now the last thing is to do the suspension check now in case a lot of people have uh, you know noticed or rather had this issue when they do a suspension work the alignment of putting the suspension tubes back is sometimes missed so if you notice this point over here the manual mentions the distance from the clamp to the top of the tube on both the sides if it is off by a few mm like you know maybe a 1 mm gap will be fine but if it is off by maybe a couple of mm and i have noticed in some cases it has been more than 4 to 5 mm because the suspensions are not in line there will be a wheel wobble now the next thing i'm going to do is since i have a main stand i have done all these checks by putting a jack under the bike so i'm going to take off the jack i'm going to get the bike on the side stand and I'll show you how to do when the bike is on the side stand. Just hold on. Alright, so now the bike is on the side stand. And uh, now what I need to do is again check whether my wheels are running free. Or if my rim is out or if my tire wear is uneven. So tire wear you can obviously touch it and feel it so that's not a big deal. So check the bearings, check the rim. You will have to get the wheel up. So since the bike is on the side stand. What we can do is use the same jack, put it on the other side of the bash plate or if you don't have a bash plate, on the pipes and tilt the bike up. So let me show you something like this is going to happen. Right, so we are on the other side now. Here we go. So what I would be doing is in case if I don't have a bash plate or uh, you know a main stand, uh, I would use a jack. Place it under those pipes over here and lift the wheel up. So once I lift it up, okay, this is going to be a task. This is old and rusty from my old Jeep. So here you go. Wheel is free. So you can complete the you know, entire exercise just by putting a jack under the front pipes. And now once you've done this you can check all the four points and uh, come to the conclusion what needs to be done similarly you know we should also uh, check the rear wheel bearing by just putting our hand and making a lateral move let me just do it right now since we have it here i'm going to take off the jack from the front because for the rear wheel we need to put the rear wheel up in the air I'm sure most of us have a pedal stand in case we don't then we need to use something under the swing arm over here or here and lift the wheel up so the easy way to do is put in a bolt into the swing arm over here and once you put the bolt you start lifting it up so here you go once you have it up hold it on top and bottom and see if there's any roughness one secondly if you do a lateral movement don't feel the swing arm movement feel if there's any specific metal move, uh, you know space between the bearings and the excel so if you move it just don't bother about the flex just feel the 
movement between two, two points so you will come to know if the bearings are dying so they will ne never run very freely but in case as you notice in my front wheel the front wheel did not run as freely as the rear wheel even with the disc and the chain so that is one clear indication that the front wheel bearings are on their way out these bearings are still in pretty good state so this is how you check this also do sometimes check your swing arm bearings you know uh, i don't know how to put it now just see if there's any movement in the swing arm laterally not up and down if there is no movement the bearings are fine but it's a good thing to uh, maybe at every 30 40 thousand kilometers take off the swing arm get the wheel bear the swing arm bearings cleaned and lubricated for better suspension movement so yeah i hope uh, all these factors that we discussed today will help you resolve any of your you know wobble or in instability issues when you are doing your rides all right guys ride safe if you have any other requests do let me know i'll be happy to help